Is the Quranic view of Jesus credible? The first problem is that Muhammad's claim that Jesus did not die on a cross is only a claim. To date, not even one archaeological discovery has been unearthed to support the claim of Muhammad. The second problem with the Quranic view of Jesus is that the Quran claims that Jesus was never put on the cross. Refer to Surah 4, 157. Also, the Quran claims that the disciples were fooled by Jesus' look-alike. Refer to Surah 4, 157b through 158a. This is a review. We have already learned that the requirement for being fooled by Jesus' look-alike based on the Quran is that people had to observe Jesus' look-alike person on the cross. We also learn that early day Christians that only witnessed Jesus after the resurrection would not have been fooled by Jesus' look-alike. In other words, they weren't there to observe him die on the cross if he was actually a Jesus look-alike. So if they only saw him resurrected, then absolutely the Quran is wrong. Moreover, early day Christians that witnessed both Jesus die on the cross as well as the resurrected Jesus would not have been fooled either. Based on this, we can assemble three lists of people that would not have been deceived by a Jesus look-alike person. The first list of early day Christians that would not have been fooled by Jesus look-alike include those who watched Jesus die on the cross, they observed him die on the cross, but they also saw him or observed Jesus as the Messiah that arose from the dead. The first of this list is Mary, the mother of Jesus. The second is Mary Magdalene, who also observed the place where Jesus was buried. The third was Mary, the mother of James and Joseph, who also observed the place of Jesus' burial. The fourth would be Mary, the wife of Cleopas. The fifth would be Joanna. The sixth would be Joseph of Arimathea, who buried Jesus' dead body. And the seventh would be John, the apostle who watched Jesus die and also observed him as a resurrected Messiah. The second list of early day Christians that would not have been fooled by Jesus look-alike include those who did not see Jesus die on the cross, but they did witness Jesus as the Messiah that arose from the dead. And so there is no way they would have been fooled by Jesus' look-alike. The first of these would be Peter, who denied Jesus three times and left the trial of Jesus. So he did not observe Jesus die on the cross, but he observed him resurrected many times. Then we have all the disciples of Jesus that fled when Jesus was arrested. This would exclude John, who later became the Apostle John. The third would be Thomas the Doubter, who refused to believe in Jesus' resurrection until he saw Jesus in person resurrected. The fourth would be 500 men, referred to in 1 Corinthians 15.6. They saw Jesus resurrected as a group. Fifth would be James, the brother of Jesus, who was a skeptic of Jesus before Jesus died on the cross. And James, after the resurrection, he became the leader of the early day Christians and also authored the book of James. Finally, Jude, the brother of Jesus, also a skeptic of Jesus before Jesus was crucified. And he became a believer apparently by inference after the resurrection. He also authored the book of Jude. The third list of early day Christians that would not have been fooled by Jesus look-alike includes actually only one person. That would be Saul of Tarsus, who was a skeptic and persecutor of the early day Christians. According to the story, Saul of Tarsus met Jesus on the road to Damascus as Jesus spoke to him from heaven. Saul of Tarsus' conversion story is credible because the text of Acts chapter 13 through 28 correlate 
to archaeological discoveries made in the last 200 years. The third problem with the Quranic view of Jesus is that Muhammad lived 600 years after Jesus and the disciples. Yet Muhammad claims to know more about Jesus than the people who looked into Jesus' eyes. What about a scholarly assessment of the Quranic view of Jesus? Scholars use a guideline referred to as contextual credibility to determine the reliability of an ancient author. Contextual credibility requires that an author write within 100 years of the death of another person. Otherwise, the author would have lost touch with the original person. Any credible author about Jesus would have written by the year AD 125, worst case. However, Muhammad lived 600 years after Jesus. On contextual credibility criteria, the Quran is not worth trusting on its viewpoints about Jesus.